Rivals.com sat down with Deshaun Kaiser during a summer basketball league stop at Finley University to discuss the four-star quarterback's recent commitment to Notre Dame. In part two of this interview, Kaiser talks about his high school community's reaction to his commitment, hanging out with Tommy Reese, and his role as a recruiter for Notre Dame. You come from a high school that is uh, has the same values, called the Fighting Irish, yeah. uh, has, has some of the, like, the play like a champion today sign stuff. Uh, what has been the response so far? That, I know you're out of school, but the response from the faculty and some of the people around uh, your community. They love it. Um, in Toledo, we have a very big uh, Irish following, a Notre Dame following, and, and our school is actually, I mean, it's a Catholic school, so that's one connection there. And then, like you said, we're fighting Irish. That's our logo and slogan and things like that. And they all, they all believe in that. And uh, a lot of the people and alumni have graduated from the University of Notre Dame and they love it there. So from day one, they've always kind of pushed, you know, when, when they believe or when they found out that I was going to be a nationally touted guy, they kind of pushed Notre Dame on me. But, you know, you can say a lot about a school, but. Notre Dame is a school that until you step foot on that campus and feel the things that those alumni and people felt, you really don't understand. So after being there and feeling what they, they said and putting, putting my own you know, visions and, and my own opinions to the campus instead of hearing from alumni and guys like that, it, it just blew me away. I mean, everything they said came true and then plus more. So. Uh, being at a school like Central Catholic where the fighting Irish tradition is alive and, and you know it's obvious when you get on campus that we're, we're a true fighting Irish family, it's great that I, I'll be able to continue that, that fighting Irish tradition for the next 35 years of my life. Let's go back to your visit. You mentioned you hung out a lot with James Onwalu and Tommy Reese. Tell me about those two guys. Uh, Tommy Reese is definitely, I didn't expect him to come out and, and spend some of his time of his day with my family, but he came out and he went through the, um, the stadium with me. And during that time, we got to talk a lot about, you know, what it's like to be a quarterback on campus. You know, you get a lot of pressure at a school like that. You, you're, you're not getting the typical statewide following. At a school like Notre Dame, your international following is outrageous. So a guy like Tommy Reese has really experienced that f since day one. I mean, obviously, we all know that he's been through a lot. And he's really one of the strongest uh, NCAA players I've ever met because he, he's, I mean, from day one, has been pressured into things that, a lot of us have not been pressured with, and he, he's definitely been very successful with that. I mean, he got named the starting quarterback last week. I'm very happy for the guy, and he, I'm, I'm sure that he's going to lead him into another very successful season. And then James Alawalu, I can't even pronounce his name. He, he was another great guy. He, um, incoming freshman playing receiver, uh, a guy that I, hopefully I'll be able to work with for the next you know four years of my career, and he. It really um, gave an example on what type of character that Notre Dame looks for. I thought that maybe I was kind of a rare one out of the bunch when it comes to football players where I, I'm really focused on being successful academically and, and beyond my college football experience. And a guy like him walking around with us really showed us that, you know, I'm not the only one like that. They all, all the guys that they recruit and all the guys that they've offered and all the guys who have committed are guys just like me. So I'm glad that I'm going to be there with guys who want to be successful as much as I do. You mentioned earlier in the interview a little bit about your skill set. Uh, the, the roster hopefully will look like when you get there uh, with Everett Golson returning from suspension, Malik Zaire. You're taller than both of those guys. Have you watched enough of them to kind of see what you love about their games and what you think you might bring differently to the quarterback group? Um, as much as I, I do go and research guys like Malik Zaire and Golson, I, I'm more focused on what can I do to you know make myself better. And when it comes to different attributes that I have, I couldn't tell you. I don't know the guys well enough, and I haven't been around them well enough to understand what they do off the field and what they do on the field. I know a quarterback is a, a very um, leadership-worthy position, and I don't know how they are, how they interact with their players. But I would expect that you know a guy who's a true freshman would have a lot of uh, leadership abilities when it comes to um, leading a team to a successful, a successful season as they had last year. So um, I believe that you know if I continue to to do what I've been doing at my high school and you know jump my level up a little bit higher to, when I go to Notre Dame, that hopefully I can be as successful as I am now at the NCAA level. Excellent. Last question. Uh, Notre Dame looks like they're on their way to yet another highly ranked, highly ranked recruiting class. Probably maybe the best quality class right now in the rivals rankings and still very high with um, some other teams have some more just more commits but yeah. they look like they're well on their way again 
Uh, do you converse with any of the guys and how much are you going to help them? Yeah, um, all right, we have a group chat, all the commits so far. And like I said, this is a, a group of guys that all have the same mindsets as I do. So to be honest, I haven't really watched too much film on these guys to understand that they're, they're very good guys. I mean, a lot of four stars, a couple of three stars. I mean, that, that says enough about their athletic talents. But I like the most about them is the fact that they're all, you know, um, self-driven guys who, who are all here to be successful both on and off the football field. Um, what I really didn't expect is after last year's class of linemen, I mean, they went out and got five nationally top big guys. And yet in my class, we already have three or four who are also, you know, big name guys. The, the fact that last year's smallest lineman is 6'4", 315, that should say enough. But we still went out and got, you know, a few more guys who are really going to uh, succeed as well as much as those guys from last year. So other than that, I believe that we have a few more big name guys who are getting ready to pull the trigger. We're going to have a big recruiting day on June 20th and June 21st that I, I'll be a part of and finally get to put my hand into this recruiting process and bring some guys on. I feel like as a quarterback, it's my job to, you know, get to know these guys and, and really see what type of guys that we want to bring on to our, our football team. And the, the quality of guys that we've brought in so far has been really high, and I expect it to be no less as this recruiting process goes on. Sean, that's it. I expect the people at Notre Dame who handle training their, uh, their players on how to handle the media are going to be quite content with, with you coming in. So congratulations on your commitment. Thank you.